Yo, Rana, and welcome to FM Tahiti. Hope you're all doing well. Um, what are we doing today? Well, we've had a bit of a a gap in terms of recording the videos, not in like real time. In terms, of, I've played about a month's worth of matches actually, um, just because I was getting into them, just because I had the opportunity to play them. Partly because you can stream um, your Steam games to things like iPads now, so. I actually had an evening where I was able to just sit on the sofa watching TV with the wife whilst also playing this on the iPad and it was, the streaming was pretty much seamless so it meant I couldn't really record but I could play a few extra matches so I thought I'd do that because none of the matches themselves were huge matches and you can kind of see the impact so we're sixth after nine games won five drawn three only lost one goal difference of 13 which is pretty decent I managed not quite a few goals past people um, getting many clean sheets either. That's the kind of the balance uh, that we have going on in there. Humpbacks are now above us, but we've got a game in hand. So if we win our next match, uh, we could jump above them. Like actually, we could jump quite high. We could get up to second, potentially, depending on what goes on with the other games. In terms of the schedule, so the last match you saw was when we drew 0-0 against the Humpbacks, a kind of serviceable and you know, a good draw. We were quite, quite proud of us, 42 days ago now, it's, oh, it was early in the month. Um, so we drew against Manue, scoreless draw away. They went to Bora Bora and beat them 4-1, which I was a little bit shocked about because I thought they would be a bit stronger, but actually walked all over them. We had a player sent off, didn't really break a sweat, they didn't get back into it. Uh, Jean-Baptiste popped up with a, a penalty at the end, but Tamangara got a brace. Then we went away, went away and played um, Papit, or Papiti, and Mura again, he's on penalty duty, so he's popping up with goals, but he's, he's playing well. Tamangara too, as well, we got a clean sheet. And then we played Jupiters in the MUC Trophy, where we won 4-1, which leaves us top and fairly comfortable as well so we've got a few teams left to play but if we got left we have got the terrors and the vanga vines and basically win our next match it doesn't really matter what goes on we've qualified for the final which would be good which will probably be against the other group yeah probably against the humpbacks maybe the exiles but probably the humpbacks uh, so we're back now for the match against the Sky Brights. I'll just take your team, new kind of team changes. Strauss and Jitters. Get Kerr in there. So we've actually played Frey for a good long run now, and he's actually doing really well. Uh, Minnan was normally our kind of go-to, but actually Minnan seems to be working a lot better as an impact with Frey starting, so we've kind of stuck um, with that one where possible. We've kept the team pretty much the same. Not made too many changes, we've kind of kept the faith with them. Tamangara's getting close to scoring more premiership goals than he's ever scored previously, so he's he's on track for a good season. But we're up against the Sky Brights now and see how they do against them. Got Picard, Gary Gary Picard, not Jean Luc or anything like that, just Gary. Gary Picard, he's looks pretty good. He's not actually been cat for yet, but I thought he would have been. Um and no one else here particularly seems that interested. But Boris Collin, so good they gave him two first names. And they got Sandra Tao, who's an actual T-shirt player, a real player, used to play for AS Tyrion. Probably does right now in the real world, but um, it's one of the, the few remaining real players from Tahiti that was still in the database. Let's see how we get on against them. I'm pretty confident because we've had a good run He's, you know, they're not. I don't see any of their players. I think this is this is going to be tricky. We beat better teams, so all of these signs are pointing to us losing. Where are they? They're down here in eleventh. They've got seven points. They're not not an issue. Takura Terrors, who I think in the last video were challenging for first, dropped down to seventh. I reckon they'll be safe this season. I'm hoping the Spearhead stay safe and Tetero and Papite go down. Um, or if not them, another t two, you know, mainland Tahitian, mainland, but, you know, Tahitian sides rather than, you know, Marquesan side or a uh, Tuamertan side. 
Spearling whips it in. Come on, Mara. Oh, that's didn't work out for him. He's normally a bit better than that. I'm wondering if he's starting to get a little bit. Oh, God, Freya, this is what I'm talking about. Minen doesn't do that as much. Spearling, yeah. Keeper gets in the wrong way. Cartwheel into all the other players, get some studs in the faces. Yeah, so Frey's delivery is probably not as good as Minen's, but Frey's much better at actually getting and retaining the ball. Yeah, Spearling's doing alright. Got a real sort of soft spot for Spearling, because he's that first Golden Generation player we got a row or two. We got nothing but Golden Generations, but he was the first like pick as well. He doesn't look spectacular. He's not gone to the heights of like um, Johan Andre, Pons or Yanin or anything. He's not like a. He's never been a superstar, but he's been solid. Good tackle by Manuel. Go on, Chidi. Or straight at the keeper. Keep getting close to um, sure Lamb in. Yeah, <laughs> corner, just, just come off the corner flag there. I think we're getting closer and closer to breaking our sort of record attendances every match now. So a few matches ago, we got 807 fans in. So we're getting close to kind of sellouts as well. I don't think we've had many. So if we survive this season, to be honest, I feel confident we will. You know, we've got a lot of points already. I think we could... If we lost every match between now and the end of the season, there's a good chance we'd still end up in like the playoff spot um, based on past seasons. <sighs> Cleared well and truly there. Yes, I think if we stay up, we have you know a bit of success and a bit of a reputation boost from survival, then I'm, I'm reasonably confident we're going to end up with a stadium extension. Skyprites keep blocking us and clearing. They're doing Frey again. Neither of them could finish it off though, but Frey's the one picking up. He's much more, not so much defensive, but aggressive in defense. He presses a lot better than uh, Minan does. Yes, yeah, so I reckon we could get an extension, or maybe they'll build a new stadium. Kind of want them to hold off on building a new stadium until we're like a, a legend, so they name it after us. We could end up with two stadiums named after us, that'd be amazing. One nil's not enough. We don't keep many clean sheets. We've got a few, but normally good for giving a goal away. Gone fray back in. No sure the keeper. Do you? And out it goes. So yes, yeah, 769. Only two away fans all the way over from uh, Skybright Island. Can't remember what our stadium capacity is, like 800 and something. Tamangara needed two attempts. I mean, that first attempt was poor. Poor defending to leave him on side. Um, Poor finishing by him straight at the keeper. He's just lucky he got an opportunity to finish that one off. It's tenth goal of the season. They're not all league goals. Um, some of them are cup goals. The most premiership goals he's ever scored in a season before were five with um, the humpbacks, and the most goals he's scored or like league goals, so the championship goals essentially that he scored was ten. So the most goals he's scored league goals is ten. So he's I think he's on track. He might have just equaled league goals in the Premiership. A few more should beat his all overall records. I think he's going to have a good season. Frey keeps trying it. Let's bring Frey off because he's he's living up to the attacking role that he's got on the right. But he's not finishing anything. Uh, let's bring Hut on for Spearling. Wallace on for Chili Bang. See how they do. It's getting getting cooler as we get closer to winter. The one thing we need to start checking now is 
how far are we off top two spot for that kind of end of December, start of January time period. That's where we need to be top two if we want to get to the OCL. If we didn't get to the OCL this season, I would not be overly concerned because we've got other things to be doing. Um, but it would be nice if we could get in there. Give us a, give us a good boost. Plus, yeah, I'm not, if we, it, like I say, it would be nice to get into the OCL, but honestly, I don't think we could win it. If we can't win it, then it's just extra games to play, more distance to travel, it'll just tire the team out. It'll give us a slight rep boost, but it won't do anything for us financially to play in it and not win it. Next season, maybe. Match done, 2 0. Nice tidy win, nothing spectacular. Go on, who it go along or something. Big man Tamangara again for Wallace. Well, there we go. Let's work out which match we're going to come back for. So 21 points after 10 games, we're only 4 points away from top spot, so things within reaching distance. Schedule wise, we've got Murti one, Takara. let's come back for the Takara Terrors match, that should be a nice one um, to play, and then that puts us towards the start of December as well. Okay, so we're back now for the match against the Takaroa Terrors with the overly fancy kit design. Could hopefully redo a lot of these kits for FM20 if I get the chance. Um, if you know of anywhere where they've got good kit templates, let me know. I found a few that I'm going to be working from. I use something called the Smart Shirt Designer for these, which I might go back to because it's nice and simple for small, sort of low res shirts. Uh, but if there's anything you think that's a better alternative, let me know. But we've got the Terrors. They are a Tua Merton team, if I remember correctly. Yep, two Merton Island team. What's their stadium like? The 925 all seater Black Pearl Park. Um, they're doing all right in the Premiership. They've managed to stay up and survive from last season. So they're, they're starting to establish themselves, which is good for Tua Murti. In the match in between the Sky Brights match and this one, we played Motu 1, where we beat them 2 0. Frey scoring and Jean Baptiste getting a penalty. So our run still continues. Still four points away from top, but we've got a game in hand over them. Two points away from second with no game in hand. And let's see how this goes against this team. Anything I want to change? There's tons I probably should change. I'm not going to. Everyone looks fit. We finally got to the point where the team are actually. You know, responding like athletes and have some kind of actual fitness. Floodlit. Still about 35 degrees though, so this is an uncomfortable night's sleep for everyone. Terrors, for some reason, even though they're playing at home and not playing in their actual kit colours. I wonder if this is just something I messed up in the editor and I've given them a swap their away kit round. That's a bit of a bit of a pain. I don't think white with a blue stripe quite represents this, this beautiful pink monstrosity. Oh, this chair keeps squeaking, I need to oil my chair. I'm thinking of getting a new microphone. This is a very simple kind of headset microphone I'm using. Um, I'm thinking of getting a halfway I don't want to say professional, because it's not going to cost that much. But, you know, I'm going to upgrade, I think, soon. Which probably means I need to oil the chair. Go on, Manuel. See so if the microphone's going to pick up my voice better, it's also going to pick up the squeaky chair better as well. I'm just going to have to stay very still when I record. Knocking it around, okay. Start finishing. That's fine.
Don't seem to have many fans here. Well, it's 35 degrees now, not 34. We're edging the stats, but there's no like highlights for it. We're not doing particularly well. Let's try a shout. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, that's it. Get creative. I read somewhere that demand more and get creative are very effective. Oh, chidi! What a goal! Chidi banged it in. Sixth goal of the season. Um. That's the kind of strike you only wait for like your 10th, 20th, 50th goal of the season. Look at that. Rocket. Like it's already in before anyone has a chance to react to that. Get creative, I put in. We'll see what the response is now. Chitty. Oh, come on, Chitty. He scores an absolute monster of a shot from right here. And then can't finish in front of him. Jean-Baptiste Lamb. Manuel, well, so tackles going in, motivated, inspired, inspired, confident, inspired, inspired. So that was get creative. That's worked quite well. So yeah, get creative and demand more. I don't really need to do much more in the way of shouting at them. I'll probably try it again around the 60th minute, if not anything. I might go for demand more then, we'll see what happens. If you keep hammering the shouts to become less effective, or they start to become overwhelmed by them, they can also become overwhelmed by them anyway, just if it doesn't make sense to them at the time. Beauty of Football Manager, the shout might make sense to you, but they're like, what? What, what do you mean? Push forward more, two goals down. That kind of thing. What's going on in the other games? Anyue winning, Moria winning, Bora Bora winning. Shouts demand more. So one of them feels pressured. Penalty. That's not good. That's not our fault. It's going to be really difficult to see what effect the shouts had when this goal goes in. Ugh. Don't need to see that again. We need to see what's going on with our shout. Before you ruined it for us, you but yeah, it's all gone. But I think we had a couple up here in Spiden, and then Bon, I think, was overwhelmed. Okay, 80th minute, we'll try another shout and a sub, probably. Let's go for get creative, mix up, inspire. Look at this, pretty much everyone's inspired. It's unfortunate because I'm gonna have to bring some people off, I should have done this the other way around. Uh, let's put Tear Hut on there to get rid of the yellow card and Minan. So, uh, two new wingers and a new midfielder. Let's change the engine. Do it. Who it with the assist? What a sub. And Chidi, just a calm shot. He's going to score that first one, he can score that one. We'll ignore the one in between, that was a sitter. Calmly in. Is this what you mean by getting more creative, boss? Just pass in? Yeah, that'll do. That is creative enough for me. A reasonable amount of yellow cards. Oh, Jean-Baptiste. That was completely unnecessary. It actually looked like he just went into stamp on him as well. That's a good lad. Um, I was just about to say, actually, um, in one of... But my other kind of offline save, I've got them playing a much harder kind of hoofball, a much more kind of crazy gang with massive tackles. So with Warrington, we got promoted from Van Amaram and North up to League Two. But every season I got so many fines, it was actually becoming a big outlay. So I think I got fined about 6,000 in the Van Amaram North, 10 in the Van Amaram National, and then about 15 in the first season in League Two, because your fines get more expensive as well as you go up. So this is, you know, for not controlling players. So I was looking at those yellow cards, and if you get a certain number of yellow cards, you normally get a fine, or yellow cards and red cards, you'll get a fine. So this is almost on the verge of fine territory, I think. But yeah, I normally get quite a lose quite a bit. So I think I worked out that last season, my player sales 
basically just offset my <laughs> disciplinary fines that I got for the season. So not good business. So there we go. Um, 2-1 in the end, but I thought it was fairly comfortable. Chidi scoring an absolutely amazing uh, goal. Uh, ends his goal drought, apparently. Not a bad way to end your goal drought. Um, and we'll end the episode here, I think. So a third. Chidi scored a blinder. Anything else we need to know? Closing in on getting into the top two, so this December will be interesting. We'll come back um, tomorrow, probably, for the next episode. I don't know what day this is going to be going up, but so, you know, soon enough you'll be able to find out where we go next. Thank you.